Well, that doesn't look quite right. <laughs> yeah. I better fix that. Alright, step one was a piece of cake. Huh. Well, this is an old dead piece of wood. I'm not sure how old it is though. It might still be strong, but it curves before it gets thick enough, so it doesn't matter. Alright, somewhere out here there's gotta be a oh that might be a good stick over there. I wonder if this is thick enough. Came out of a pretty strong piece of wood. This guy was just not quite thick enough. It would be great for the handle part, but that top part, just not quite. And I could glue some pieces on, ah, whatever. I decided to just go out and see if I could find something that would actually be big enough. I don't need to waste a, a nicely cut piece of wood on something where it's gonna be not optimal. So. I went out and I found a red mangrove tree that fell down two or three months ago. So it's long enough that it's gotten a bit of a chance to dry out, but the termites have not gotten to it yet, at least not this, this particular piece. And this is definitely wide enough, which means there's gonna be kind of a lot of work whittling it down, but that's okay, just to double check, yeah. I'll definitely fill the fatter part. Okay. So the way these handles work is the entire handle has to fit through here until, you know, the top of the handle's fatter and gets stuck. So almost the entire handle has to be skinnier than this end. And this side is fatter, so the handle has to taper out at the end and get stuck in here. All right, I'm just gonna start with a machete. At least get these knobs off. If I get all the bark off, and get the thing kind of smoothed out. Man, this wood is so hard. I'm gonna speed up the operation a little. Yeah, I should take care of it. Yeah, that looks about right. I just want to cut a little bit at a time so I don't move the thing. So, the heavy piece of wood for what it is is very dense, but it's not very big. If I try to cut through all at once, it's going to move the whole thing.
Oh man, the cut this makes is so nice. I wonder if I can do something with that. Probably. Oh, that is some good looking stuff right there. Alright, that'll definitely get through. And then up here, I'm going to cut this off so this part can stay thick and get wedged in. Good. Do you want to take this down? Mm -hmm. I'm going to drop it. <laughs> You know, people keep asking me why I prefer the circular saw blade style lumber mill over the bandsaw style. You know, this is a swing mill, so it'll cut vertical and horizontal. And, you know, I talk about things like it cuts a real smooth line. And once you get your log in place, you don't have to move it. You just move the blade around as opposed to with, uh, you know, the bandsaw. You cut a much rougher line and you have to move your log and blah, blah, blah. But one thing that I'm realizing today is that thing has been sitting there unused for I don't know, like three months, just out in the elements. Well, it's got a roof over it, but you know, the blade is rusty. It's got weeds growing over it. And all I had to do to start cutting was just turn it on and go. If it was a, a bandsaw lumber mill, I'd have to tighten the blade to make sure everything's aligned right it's just a lot more involved in in getting it to work oh. oh should we go outside to do this probably not. Okay. Uh, this saw is terrible but i should be able to cut through like three millimeters. I want to get some good hand saws. Hard to find today though. Man, look at that. It's like a two millimeter thick piece cut perfectly. Okay. You know, if I had a laser cutter, I could cut wood on that lumber mill. I really want to get one. And, uh, I could cut little pieces of wood to laser cut. And this is so small. With this part? I mean, With I'll this part. That part. Yeah. yeah, isn't that great? Cut such a nice cut. That thing's heavier than it looks, isn't it? It's a really dense piece of wood. Hey, I think we'll get the... Hey, you want to grab the hand planer? Not the power one, the, the, the manual one. I know the... Okay, okay. Do you know... Wants to help. You should get your own stick. <laughs> I want to get this done so I can actually use it today. What? Yeah. Did you say please? Jeez. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is pretty sweet. I think they make handles too skinny in the stores. Too short too. You know, I'm taller than average and I have way bigger hands. Come on. You have It is a little bent. It's nice to have the handle bent a little at the end. Why? Well, it, when you grab it, you don't have to grab it straight. You can grab it like that because your arms are coming at different angles. So, it's a little bent. It's more comfortable. Now, 
this is a two directional tool so when I do it the other way it's going to be the wrong way so I'll put it this way um, in the direction that I'll use it <laughs> I've totally destroyed this sentence I'll put it so I hold it this way most of the time is basically what I'm trying to say so it'll probably be the front end I don't know which one do I use more it's going to be a tough call you know what I need more power when I do this one than when I do this one I use both ends but when I hit with this one, I definitely need more power. So I'll give that the good grip. I'll give the other one the bad grip. Oh crap, now I forgot, where was I? For the last part, I can't use a planer because this has to flare out. So it's gonna go like this, and the planer can't get into gullies like that. So, just sharpened a little section on my, my machete here, real sharp. Don't use it. I just need to get this to match the hole in that thing. Pretty good. You have to just pound this in there a little. Call it done. Oh, cut off the top. Alright, how can I whack this on? Very good. Get a bunch of cracky wood at the end. the best handle I've felt in a while. And the last one was too short. It's always bending down so much. Ooh, good looking stuff. Actually, you're coming with me today. Right, I need this today. All right, all right. Let's give it a little test before we go anywhere.
Oh, it's so nice having a handle that's long enough. Oh, that's great. Usually the handles for these things are only like this long. Oh, this is much better.